So, um, yeah, we're going to talk a little bit about the seven strategies for community change. And this, in essence, is a framework or a theory that BHCC and many other coalitions um, use to organize their activities and create effective prevention strategies. Um, and as I mentioned, I'm a social media and communications coordinator. I work closely with Liz to create effective prevention messaging and get resources out to our social media followers, among other things. Um, so one of the main reasons for this presentation is that BHCC will be running a social media campaign throughout January, highlighting the various ways the coalition impacts our community. Um, the ultimate goal is to educate the public about the seven different ways that BHCC interacts within the Burlington Edison District um, to prevent new substance use. So I'll talk a little bit more specifically about the post in a minute, but first I just wanted to go over um, the general parts of the seven strategies. So what are the seven strategies for community change? Um, they are a multi-level framework developed by CADCA to encourage effective substance use prevention strategies in a community. Um, the multi-level part of this theory is broken down into an individual level and environmental level. So at the individual level, we have those first three strategies, which are providing information, building skills, and providing support. Um, these are all about encouraging behavior change at a personal level through the things I mentioned, uh, resources like information, skills, and support. And then at our environmental level, we have those last four, which are enhancing access, reducing barriers, uh, changing consequences, altering physical design, and modifying or changing policy. Um, since that's at, a, at the environmental level, that means that um, behavior change is encouraged by altering the environment around an indivi individual. So I'll explain more how BHCC fits into this picture. Um, yeah, so our idea for this January social media campaign is to um, have an introductory post, and then um, we'll post twice a week, just introducing a new strategy each time. We wanna keep it really simple, really digestible for the public. So this is what our introductory slide looks like, just encouraging people to follow us this January to learn more, and then we'll have a really simple explanation saying BHCC implements seven strategies for a comprehensive approach to influence the health and safety of our Burlington Edison community. And then we have a fun hashtag down here, seven strategies January, that's always necessary. All right, and then for week one, we're gonna start with that first strategy, which is providing information. So BHCC serves the Burlington, Burlington Edison community by, by providing factual information about teen substance use. Um, I do this through social media resources. We also um, collect information through the community health survey and other various me methods. Um, I also wanted to mention that a lot of the programs I'll bring up today are run by people who are in this organization. So if there are questions, I encourage those people to speak up about them because they probably have more information than I do. Um, yeah, and then so for strategy two, we have building skills. This is still on that individual level and BHCC supports parent engagement programs and peer-to-peer -peer programs in our schools and community. And then, so starting on week two, um, we'll talk about our last individual level change, which is providing support. BHCC provides activities for teens to engage in school and community building, such as the varsity and volunteerism program. And then moving on to our environmental level strategies, uh, the first one is enhancing access. So BHCC does this through supporting things like drug take back days, which a lot of you have probably heard of, and other safe disposal methods. Um, so in this post, I would probably link uh, ways for people to continue to access those safe disposal methods. And then we're going to move on to another environmental level strategy, which is changing consequences. Um, we partner with the education citation program to give you the second chance instead of a first infraction when it comes to underage substance use. So this is 
thinking what would be a typical consequence for youth substance use. Um, and then our second to last strategy is thinking physical design. So BHTC helps provide personal medication safe storage options. Um, and then check out the link in the description today to request a free lock bag. And then our last one is covering um, modifying slash changing policy. And this is the highest level that BHCC can help impact the community. Um, and we describe it as BHCC actively advocates for changes in policy affecting human substance use, including the recent push for Delta 8 legislation, which is really interesting. Um, and Danica here could talk about it a little bit more if anybody had any questions. So that'll wrap up our January campaign. Just to keep it short and simple, I want to say thank you so much for listening. And for anybody here who isn't already following the Burlington Healthy Community Coalition on Facebook, please do. You could scan that QR code or just type it into Google.